Straight ahead on OC News the 16th. That's all for Apple News. Back to you guys. We are getting closer and closer to the presidential election. Suspicious of carrying weapons or contraband. Another high profile, another high profile celebrity speaking out. Cam Newton, who is a community member of Charlotte and the current quarterback of the Carolina Panthers, is one of many professional athletes who is speaking out as an activist. He expressed thought-provoking concerns on the issue of mutual accountability between both police and citizens. Yeah, the police brutality is... All right, guys. A little yeah, over one minute. Right. We're going live. Ready? Ready? Oh, I didn't bring my phone to Snapchat. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Damn it. <laughs> Take a look at our temperature currently right now. It's been absolutely gorgeous and over the weekend. And that weather uh, continuing like place. Uh, just uh, today, even in the Caribbean area, Jamaica, there's been a lot of 140 miles an hour, can get up to 165. And it's making its way up to Haiti. And this Cal State Fullerton is doing its part in celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Our reporter Natalie Aguirre is live from the kickoff event on campus. I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's real. You yes, thank you. And we're at the Fullerton Ar Raquel Navarro has more details. On his 90 degrees, Dallas at 93 degrees, pretty warm in Texas, but Billings, if you can see, 46 degrees. So if you like those cool temperatures, go to Billings. It's freezing out there. That's it for your weather forecast. Back to you guys. We turn now to technology news. From robot friends to Facebook, Imani Jackson is here with all the latest. Imani? Last night in the American League wildcard game, an epic conclusion set the Blue Jays to their second consecutive division series. Let's check it out. Of course, every series has a storyline, and boy is this one messy. Straight ahead on OC News, oh. new details on the shooting that ended in the death of two officers come to light. And a local business here in Fullerton is making a difference in the lives of at-risk youth. And all of this in just a few minutes. And anywhere in Southern California, we will stay in the mid-70s, like I said, staying in those temperatures throughout the west rest of the week. That's it for me. Let's take it back to you guys. Earlier, Cal State Fullerton's flu fighters were out in the quad providing free flu shots to students. David has more on the fight against the flu. Technology is used in our daily lives, but it doesn't mean that they work as planned or that they aren't harmful. Valeria Mergia has more on these stories. Cars. CoverGirl Cosmetics is the first. Here to explain what that means is Raquel Navarro. We've had a week full of juicy entertainment and exciting news. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover boy. Brought to you by the broadcast journalism students at Cal State Fullerton. A lot of fight from both teams. And now tossing it back to Shaida and Eric. Will tonight's debate be enough to sway the undecided vote? We have Miranda at the TSU talking to students and faculty to see what they have to say. People watch the first presidential debate. The second had a viewership of 60, 66 million viewers. People go to Vegas to see a good, intense, dramatic fight. In a few hours, the candidates are bound to give them one. Back to you guys in the studio. Oh, hey, sorry, I was just taking a nap. I didn't get enough sleep yesterday. 
Did you know that 48% of Americans don't get enough sleep? Let's go see how much sleep college students get. After a year-long, multi-million dollar facelift, we go, now to, we go now live to Sarah Fenton, who is in the TSU to show us some of the highlights. Sarah? Thanks guys. The Titan Student Union expansion has been completed early and the grand opening is set for tomorrow. But before that grand opening, we have an exclusive preview of what it looks like inside. Let's take a look. As you can see, enjoy the new team. Thunderstorms, rain, and more rain. Yes, it's feeling like a lot like fall in Southern California. Roberto Gavassos is here with a look at the weather. Because drinking two or more sweetened drinks a day, whether it is real sugar or artificial, can more than double your risk of diabetes. Many people are deceived, especially by seemingly healthy fruit juices, but one 15-ounce bottle of Minute Maid's apple juice has 40 we're at the end of October and the holidays are just around the corner. Will the weather continue to feel like fall? Here's Robert Cavazos with the forecast. Corgi Beach Day happened this past week and we were there. We have the full story after this short break. was very first ballot. She's encouraging others to go to the polls and vote. You too can now cast your vote. It's cast your vote early at the following locations. Okay, quiet please and then <clears throat> Starbucks isn't making headlines for what is inside the cup, but for what is found outside. Reporter Carolina Kixano has more on the story. How's it going? So let's take a look at our current temperature right now. We have 75 degrees and we have a humidity of 36. And since we did have daylight savings, that sun is going to be getting up a little bit sooner and it's going to be setting a little, uh, sooner as well. So if you're trying to catch a sunset, uh, you already missed it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, the weekly forecast. Off. Six and two records, and the winner of this one will take first place in the division. So we go to the early second quarter, Lamar, uh, Lavavius Murphy, Murphy uh, right down the middle for the touchdown. It's 13 to zero Raiders. Uh, they take the lead there. Well, that concludes this edition of A Very Smooth OC News. Thank you very much <laughs> for spending part of your Monday with us. The blaze killed dozens of people. Authorities are still in search of bodies and ruins of this fire-torn building. Eric Resendiz has the latest. Eric? The ABC and Seth Wright, as of now, rescue teams have found only 33 bodies and still in search throughout 70% of the region. Prompts are reset. James needs to redo that. You're smiling. <laughs> no smiling. <laughs> it's kind of a bad uh, oh, yeah, time to smile. Heck? I was like... Okay. <laughs> serious, serious. <laughs> it's that time of year again. It's that time of year again. Stress is in the air. And finals week is right around the corner. Hello, welcome back. I just got through a sandstorm. And this week in health, President Obama pushes through the new 21st century act and chicken is recalled. Reporter Christina Massari has more on these stories. Cal State Fullerton's newest edition of the TSU is set to open October 20th. As you can see behind me are the what is to Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Can I hold this? Yeah, you have to, but you're coming down. That's cool. Okay. The grand opening for the newest edition of Cal State Fullerton's TSU is set to open October. <laughs> We're going to put that in the blue. 
From sweating to shivering, the weather this week has been unpredictable. Raylan Taylor has your forecast. Blood. Yes, Yesenia. From hot to cold, we have been experiencing that all week, which makes most of us wonder what does the rest of the week have in store? Well, let me tell you something. I'll let me tell you. Uh, it makes us wonder what do we have in store? And you're thinking, what does this mean for Thanksgiving? So let me tell you what's going on right now, currently. We're looking at a temperature of 60. 67 degrees with a low of 56. Our UV index is 3 of 10 and our humidity is at 25 percent. Today the sun rose at 6:23 a.m. and it sunset at 4:48 p.m. Now let's take a look at our five-week, five-day forecast. Okay, so we have right now 70. Tomorrow 76 will be the <laughs> temperature. <laughs> Friday, we're experiencing temperatures at 80 degrees. Saturday, 76. And Sunday, 71. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so bad. And Monday, we're experiencing light rain with 69%. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Temperatures in the 70s throughout the week, but come 4 p.m. and get ready to get cozy and grab some hot cocoa because we are looking at lows in the 50s. Saturday, we are expected for some more rain, so this week is looking to be the perfect weather to bundle up and spend quality time with our loved ones. The current national temperatures, well, that does it for your weather forecast. Happy Thanksgiving. Now back to you guys in the studio. Gracias, Alan, y pues muy buenas noches, amigos. Primero quiero hablar de lo que está pasando en el este. El huracán Mateo ha, mata ha causado la muerte de... ...to 5 p.m. Now, um, it's, uh, the, if, uh, the hours from the library are going to be shortened just because of the break, but whoever wants to come and study in the library, feel free to do that. You can also catch all of our shows on our YouTube channel. And uh, if you ever want to look at past shows, they're on there. I'm Eric Resendiz. And I'm Natalie Gomez. Have a good night.